Hello, beautiful souls. It's Andrea with Enlightening Offerings. I wanted to hop on here today as we officially enter our holy day season and maybe give you a heads up <laughs> as far as some of the energetics you might be stepping into or already feeling as um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving in the United States and then we don't really stop till after the new year, right? So uh, yesterday, the sun moved from Scorpio into Sagittarius, which is my birth, birth, birth sign. My birth month is December. Um, and then today is a new moon. So the dark of the moon was last night. Today we're entering the new moon phase uh, where today also the moon is going from Scorpio to Sagittarius. So what does that mean? So Scorpio is a water sign, kind of moody, edgy, deep. <clears throat> you might be um, a little moodier, a little blue. You might have felt really into the earth cycle of fall and letting go of things and just like this release of weight and things that don't serve anymore. You know, like you look outside and you see the trees doing that. Um, Scorpio season was a really good time to really sink into the shadow self. And then today, both the moon and the sun are entering or into Sagittarius, which is a fiery sign. And it is um, about forward momentum. And the Sagittarius is the explorer. We're very um, philosophical and want to try new things and explore new ideas and places and um, people. And, and so it's interesting to look at um, the holidays, right? So we, we are entering Thanksgiving is a Sagittarius season holy day. And then um, historically speaking, we have winter solstice or Yule is on December 21st, which is then the end of Sagittarius season and beginning with Capri uh, the beginning of Capricorn. So by the time Christmas comes, we are firmly entrenched in the earthy, grounded, um, dead of winter, really wanting to curl up with a good book and a hot beverage and your comfy, cozy blankie and um, hibernate, right? So Capricorn is the beginning of that season. So all of that said, what can we expect for the next month or so? I would suggest that you um, look at the fact that as we are um, starting this new moon cycle, as we enter Sagittarius, look at it as, as an opportunity to really fine tune, you know, Sagittarius is the archer. What are you focusing on? What do you want to focus on? What do you, who do you want to focus your attention on, your energy on, whether that's monetarily focusing on them with gift giving for the season or, um, areas of life that you would like to explore, really look at that. You, we are being gifted this beautiful opportunity to, to go through this full moon cycle today, starting with an intention or a wish, or again, a focus point to work with during this fiery, motivated, exciting, like, can you feel the excitement of Sagittarius and wanting to go out and plan things and buy things and decorate things. I have already started decorating my house for Christmas this year because I felt like it. <laughs> because I just feel this, this amping up of energy. And pay attention because by the time Christmas comes, I'm probably not going to be feeling much that way anymore. By the time Christmas comes, I have noticed Again, I'm ready to sit down with a blanket and a hot beverage and just just center and ground down, root down into my place in the couch and not move. <laughs> so I would suggest that for this next 30 days, really focus on getting as much done and preparation and um, honing in on what's really going to serve you for the holiday season. And try to do it 
while we're in this fiery Sagittarius. Uh, because <laughs> we don't want to wait again until the last second. You know, we've all heard about last minute shoppers and things like that. You don't want to wait till the last minute when you're in that Capricorn grounded energy to try to finish doing things, right? So uh, fire signs are about manifestation and creation and like building. And so use the energy of the Sagittarius starting yesterday, today, to build what you want to see for the holidays this year. Um, Kali is still um, active with the North Node that I've spoken about in the past. And so really like fierce love, um, focusing us on our destiny line. And I mean, it's just a big time of shedding and creating the life that you really want to see. What is important to you? Who is most important to you outside of yourself? Like, what is it that you, in your most authentic, truest, self-actualized version of self, would choose to focus your creative manifestation energy on for the next 30 days? So, get ready probably already feeling it, um, lean into it and accept it, allow it to come into you. And, and then by the time December 21st comes and we transition again into Capricorn, you're able to rest and heal and, and hibernate, <laughs> just hibernate, right? So brightest blessings for our holy days and holidays and however you celebrate or don't, I wish you so many blessings and peace and love. <laughs>